<laughs> Synchronizing your save games with the cloud. Oh, excellent. That's what I really need. Press any key, but then escape doesn't work. Wow. Okay, guys, this one's called Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, not really my usual kind of game. About once a year, I like to pick up something from Ubisoft that's really not my usual scene and just give it a go anyway. Um, I haven't heard very glowing reviews of this game. So you might ask, Scotty, why are you doing this? I don't know, I just like to see how the other half lives once in a while. Try something that I don't ordinarily play. Apparently this is only really any good if you play it in co-op as well, and I don't have any friends. So, probably not in for the most thrilling experience, but I thought this game does deal with some of my favourite subject matters. Uh, South Americans, drugs, uh, violence, all the kind of thing I'm... Ooh, and it has character creation, so we're already off to a fantastic start. It does kind of look like NVIDIA porn though, I mean, I'm just looking at this guy and I can imagine one of the, the dev guys being all hey, with the graphical fidelity we've got going on here. You can see the subsurface scattering and the individual hairs on his... that kind of thing, you know. Wait, do I not actually get to customize the face? Do I just pick from a, from a stable? You know, I played Mass Effect for the first time last night and I was kind of amazed at just how... Uh, for what a simpler editor it was, how much you could do to make your character look like a complete moron. And um, I'm a little... I'm let down. This is a current game, 2017. And I don't seem to be able to do much with this arsehole. Oh, I hate the cornrows, i got to say. There's this whole cultural appropriation thing that people love to bang on about. And that, that particular hairdo, I'm like, you know what? You can keep it. Let him, let him keep it. We don't, we don't need that. It's nothing personal. It's just I heard a story once, a horror story, about somebody cutting a dreadlock open and what was actually inside it. And it's ever since then, any kind of hairdo, it's like a dreadlock or, or these things. I'm very skeptical about it. I just think... Nah, that's not what hair should be. And I know that's hypocritical coming from me. Look at this. I don't do anything with what's on my hair. I woke up like this. I take it all back. I am actually haven't been tinkering for very long and already my guy does kind of look like a bit of a douche. So we're just going to stick with it. <laughs> I won't quit the game in uh, in frustration. Oh, I have to unlock shit? Get fucked. I kind of want to go with the burn, but I'm, I'm going to have to look at that during cutscenes. Access the store? Are you fucking kidding me? You're going to get more money out of me than you already do? Look, I should have torrented this game. Can you imagine having two wildly different tattoos on each arm? Doesn't make any sense. Oh my guy's an irredeemable douchebag. Look at that. The flag was still there. I think we're going to keep it. <laughs> oh, there's a real picture emerging from of, of my character here. I'm not sure I like what I'm seeing. God, I haven't even walked a single meter in this game yet. Yeah, I don't really care what the patch, because I think the only place you even see it is on the back of his backpack, and I'm never going to really be paying attention to that. Does my guy look like enough of a jerk-off already? I think he's pretty close. It's sort of a vaguely Bill Paxton-y, Val Kilmer kind of thing going on. But with a good streak of patriotism on either side. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of what I've achieved. Now this, I don't know about. Gender and physical traits cannot be changed after this step. Now, and that's just very limiting. Very, um, closed-minded. What if he does later, later down the road decides? He pulls a Bruce Jenner and decides, you know what? I'm feeling different. I don't really know what my idea of a difficulty should be. I, I'm tempted to just go extreme because I think I'm ready for that. Oh shit, no, 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 no. I thought it was going to give me like an opportunity to confirm my choice. So if I decide now that I in fact don't feel like playing at extreme, do I have to start all over again, make a new character or? Fuck. <laughs> oh. the music's good, isn't it? Ubisoft. I didn't actually watch the- there was like a cutscene that comes up before the game and I wasn't really watching that. I heard a man grunting in a low voice when I went to go get a drink. Kinda tuned it out. Well, here we are. Sanchez. Back on the beat. The agent they murdered. You know him? He was a friend of mine. <laughs> okay guys, we're on a helicopter. We're going into deep, dark, uncharted territory here. Guess you've been down here a while. Just call me Bolivia Newton John. So, my sidekick appears to be a real barrel of laughs. Seems living rough, but as a cover, gets me out and about. Getting a sense that none of my usual jokes are going to cut mustard with this chick. Is there a variation of that witticism that's cut mustard, or is it just cut the mustard? Like, there's no... I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? Why do you hide your face? Are you afraid of something? Nobody wants to deal it just with goes to show I can't play too many games in one week. I'm only just getting to know my squad in Mass Effect, and I don't really think I can get acquainted with this new team as well at the same time. I'm hoping this has a lot of outlets for my usual South American impersonations. There was talk you were involved. You mean we had nothing to do with that? Nah, it must have been someone else. We weren't even there, bro. We were never there. Exactly. See? It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. I wouldn't go there. Uh, you should tell that to my kid. 
Oh crap! <laughs> My character's got kids! <laughs> Great, the complications are growing. You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. A whore in the kitchen and an angel in the bedroom. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. I can't play games where there's ethical discussions because in the cutscenes you'll sit there and talk very seriously about right and wrong and then when you're playing the game I will drive on the sidewalk and mow down every mother and daughter that I see on the, uh, on the pavement. Jesus, how long is this helicopter? How big is Bolivia? We well, should be there by now. I hate to break it to you, Karen Bowman, but every religious streak is delusional. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. <laughs> Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. I think I'm the resident spook. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm a bit of a spook. Man, Bolivians are, You know, I heard the Bolivians complained about this game. It was apparently putting, it's displaying their country in a bad light or something. It's the same bullshit you saw in Colombia when Narcos came out. There were all these articles in the papers about, uh, Oh, you know, Narcos gets it so wrong, man. You go to go to Colombia now and it's actually really safe. There's no drug problem at all. And it fucks me off so much because Narcos is about the 80s. When there was a really big drug problem. And where people were getting blown up in planes and, you know, Pablo Escobar's running around just getting people murdered. Left, right and center. Thousands of people. And these, these tits, they do these bouncy little tourist articles where they're like, Oh, no. You can go to any city in Colombia now and get a really good coffee. Like, yeah, but the country had to go through some shit to get there. And it's kind of the same thing. I think Bolivia's in a bit of denial about this game. They're sort of like, oh, you know, there's more to our country than narco uh, terrorism. We've got beautiful scenery and shit. Like, Bolivia, get the fuck over it. As Americans, we aren't here, remember? Oh, man. Soldiers are the best covert ops team our country. Oh, shit. <laughs> with their help, you won't need. <laughs> yeah, they brought in the best of the best. Familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Me, hey, man. You Yankee, you come here, you swing your dick around, you try to tell us how to run our country. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca. He's got a rain a, 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 a LGBTQI patch. We've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials. I like how we're all just standing out in the open. You know, it could be a sniper in any of those hills. Founders of the Qataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized Whoa. resistance. You know, I've never heard a South American say agrarian proletariat before. If you were to assist my people, mm. it would do much. If it weren't for you right now, I'd be curled up at home with a good book and a bottle of uh, bottle of warm milk. Instead, I'm out here in the middle of the wilderness talking to a couple of Yankee homos. Who knows where he is? <laughs> I'll put a call into the activity. See if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Yeah, you do that, Karen. Make Stop yourself useful. Lieutenant, and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Sat phone. Keeping a motto is important. Hey, we don't have coverage out here. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. The topography is no good for satellite phones. It bounces the waves off your... Huh. Time lapse. I'm not ready for this. Oh, shit, why the hell did I pick simulation difficulty? Apologies if this is like unwatchable quality. Um, I've got a video card that's sort of semi-recent. But the rest of my computer hasn't really ever been updated. And I built it about four years ago now, so... If things look janky, that's just, uh... Well, it plays alright, for me, anyway. That's the thing, I'll sit here and play something and it will look great, and then when I review the recording, it's just... mush. Hold return to join a public call session. Put on your game people. Put on your game face. <laughs> I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Akatar and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies. So do we have to walk? Are we hiking, or can we just take one of these jeeps? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. There I am. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Santa does what? exist! Hey man, I'm gonna jump into my red Nakahawa you bro! Pick up. Drive. Do I get to drive? Oh, cool! I'll drive. Ah, uh, there's in-car radio? No, no. <laughs> Dude, this is so incongruous. We can't be going on the take on narco-terrorism single-handedly and be listening to the finest Caribbean big band. Let's see how the driving physics is. Well, they picked a nice standard space bar for handbrake. It's gonna do burnouts in front of this hiker here. Hey, get the hell out of the way, woman! Watch where you're going, you're messing with the big dog now. Okay, so you can't kill pedestrians, you can just intimidate them. Alright, I've got that under my system. 
Hey, slow down, hungry! Don't worry, I won't do that voice the whole time. It's just, I'm, I'm getting it out of my system now before I have to do anything important. Destructible fences? Yes! Oh. Alright, so Ubisoft is clearly thinking of me there. Well, check it out. Oh, whoa! Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sold on some of these driving physics. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, physics, I know all about those. One of those came to my mother's house once and talked to her spirit. This was after she was gone, though. Oh, there's traffic? I mean, what kind of country is Bolivia? I have to sort of, I don't want to be completely betray my ignorance here, but I don't know a lot about it. I think it's a landlocked South American country. And how I know that is, there's a line in Red Dwarf where Crichton is, you know, Lister's teaching Crichton how to lie. And he's looking at like a pencil or something, and he's like, "It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a the Bolivian Navy. I'm maneuvers in the South Pacific." And I'm kind of confused by that because does Bolivia have a navy if it's a landlocked country? I mean, oh. check it out. Bolivia needs a hero. Fire. What the fuck? No, 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 no! Put the guns back. Oh shit! I play, <laughs> I play GTA all the time. I hit F to get out of the car, and my men pulled guns on those guys playing soccer. Oh man. Ready? Hey, you guys, you fuck now! Drive by, drive by! Right, get back in the car. So apparently, you can't kill pedestrians. I uh, don't know how to feel about that. I'll get a gun out later and try and lynch some of them that way. I've been driving this car for five minutes. <laughs> oh! Stop that! Oh my god! I think we just gave our position away. Alright, so I got my squad to open fire by accident. We haven't even... Oh, shit. <laughs> There's tutorials. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Take time to mark enemies and their defences. Press Z to use the drone. B to use binoculars. Okay, man! Oh, shit. Am I dying already? Oh, fuck! Simulation mode, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> crap. Hey, hey man, you're dead. You got fucked up. No, don't. I'd really, I, I actually prefer to just restart this stage if that's at all possible. For starters, my Ute is in terrible condition. Oh, look at that. So can we just drive any car? Holy shit! <laughs> ah, the immersive world of Ghost Recon Wildlands. You too can drive a minivan through the forests of Bolivia. Unfettered freedom to travel at your fingertips. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Jamaica, we got a bobsled team. Oh holy crap! I don't think I can get back up the hill. Did my squad follow me into the minivan? I didn't really give them much time. What's auto insurance like in Bolivia? Did I just fuck a man's That's life up? Clear. He gets home to his wife. Maria, we got bad news. You know that minivan I, I've been paying off for for five years? Uh, well, uh, I found it at the bottom of the creek. It, it's a write-off, man. There's nothing I can do. Oh, hang on. Is there, like, an alternate way to the, to the encampment that I'm supposed to be attacking? Because we are in, like, this big yellow circle now. Vehicle interception. Intercepts civilian <laughs> vehicles by shooting at them or aiming at their drivers. Holy fuck. There is that kind of t Team America world police sort of aspect of these games where Americans go to foreign countries and just sort them out. I don't think it's really appropriate for me to be pulling guns on Bolivian motorists. Oh, I, I'm actually, without really trying, I've circled around to the objective. Is my team with me? Oh, good. <laughs> There's Ghost Recon right there. Woo! Oh, how great would it be if you could mod them to be the ghosts from uh, Pac-Man? Oh, what's going on? Did we get spotted? Oh, great. Spotted dick. Hey, does that look like a cowboy hat to you? I like how the mili enemy encampments is up on that hill there, and there's civilian traffic just beetling around. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm halfway between Mexican and uh, Forest Whitaker. Jim, it's me. Hey, we're settling down. Huh. I think we backed off. We found a priest. Grab him. Get that quieto. Pinche cabrón. Eh, tu pinche pitío, pedeo, me hago. Oh, shit, I got one. Wait, are these bad guys? Shoot first, ask questions later. 
I think I did it in that order. Mission failed. Target killed. What happened? Oh. Fuck you, man! <laughs> Crap! Ah! Uh, I think I may have just used the guy that I was supposed to be pinching as a human shield. <laughs> Not really tactical. Ah! Oh, no, no, it's raining! Why, God? Locate the Santa Blanca Lieutenant is what we're gonna do. We're gonna rescue him, so we're gonna get him out of here. Fuck you! Down. Aim a target and press Q to sync mark it. Shoot or hold Q to initiate the... So we're gonna sync mark one of these chickens here. Hey man, Carlos, the chickens are exploding! What's going on, man? I've never seen anything like it! He's <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, you gotta make yourself laugh. It's like I'm always saying to David. Ew. Oh man, that, I just struck a blow for anti-narco-terrorism. Yeah, this pig was probably behind the whole thing, man. Look at him. If that's, if that's not a Metzcook, I don't know what is. Wait, so do I win? Is that most of the bad guys taken care of? Oh shit, hang on, that's the lieutenant. We have to catch him. Hmm? Fuck you. That's a kill. He's, the stuff was exploding out of him for a full minute after he hit the deck. Are you sure this is like a Mexican cartel buddy uh, outpost? It looks just like a building renovation. Wait for your teammates to heal you. Were they even following me? Look how far behind they are on the radar. Okay, I've got to find out how to make them follow me because that's just stupid. They're taking way too long. To be honest, I was closer on my first attempt at actually winning this because I, I sort of just... Oh, oh crap. Well... Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and do what I did before by accident and just sort of nab him in his tent. How do I control my dudes? I just want them to follow me. Just stick with me, guys. STICK WITH ME AND YOU'LL NEVER GO HUNGRY AGAIN! My, yeah, my team aren't following me, for God's sake. Look at this. They're the blue dots on that radar, there. They don't look like they're coming with me. Doop doop. They've got to stop making these games where the cutscenes sort of set you up as like this super soldier who knows everything about everything. He's, a, he's the top of his class. His reflexes are off the charts. He's been fighting since he was 12. They've just got to do away with that kind of storyline in games because I never I never match up to the uh, the sales pitch. Oh crap, that son of a bitch is escaping again. Get the fuck down. Got him. Alright, grab. You're coming with me, sunshine. Interrogate. Get in the tent. Here's the deal. Start talking, Spick. my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and lead you to die in your own shit. No enciendas? Chill the fuck up, cabron. What do you want? See, this is just bullying, this whole game. I've come to Bolivia, where it's really not my business what happens down there. And now I'm pushing these guys around and interrogating them and threatening them. You're gonna get it, homebrew! Oh. Wait, was that a bag? Oh. Tomorrow's an old man. What am I doing? Ah, oh, no. Place Beacon. Ah, uh, get out of town. I don't know what I'm doing. I wasn't paying attention. Story mission. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Should we really take he this elevator? Armour is a major player in the rebel movement. Oh. Cartel will continue. I knew it was coming. Major players, the cartel. It's all there. Alright, guys. I'm the king of this pile of bricks. <laughs> Even the mud is pretty. The hell is not gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru? Right, how do you how well how do you use the elevator? Just, is this an elevator? No, this is just a lookout post. What am I doing? Oh god. Alright. Look, I'm going I'm apparently going on with my mission and just sort of But my squad is still up top. I don't know, keeping an eye on things. Whatever the fuck good that does for anyone. Okay. We're gonna get a lay of the land here. How many enemies are we looking at? One there, a couple over there. I could probably take them myself. Man, nailed two guys. I'm too good at this game. I'll say this, you know, I, I'm pretty shitty at a lot of games where you're gonna shoot people, but the headshot is my domain. Look at this, watch this. Sniper Elite. Oh, oh he, he dog! <laughs> okay, he moved. Jesus. Every time I nail one of these guys, I just want you to think about this. That was a man with a family. My squad aren't following me. This is stupid. How do I get them to come down here? Q? E? F? C. Uh, let's start pressing buttons. Well, what did I just do? What is this? Oh, I got a digital camera. It seems like a terrible idea, but we're gonna do a bit more driving. Maybe this will get us there quicker. Get in, boys. 
What's love got to do? Got to do? Got to do? What's love got to do? Ready to engage. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. I have a shot. Engage. I want that car. That looks like a. That's like science fiction shit. Whoa. What the fuck was that blue flashing crap? Yeah, the car is glitching. I think we just screwed the Matrix up. I like it. This game's got all this Bolivian radio station thrown into it. Whoa! <laughs> I want you to ignore everything that happens while I'm driving. You guys have seen me drive a real car by now, thanks to my incredible Hyundai review. You know that I'm really quite, quite the old hand with the wheel and the. Fuck! Come on. It's true what they say about shortcuts. They very rarely actually turn out to be all they're cracked up to be. I swear to God, it's not just me. This is really difficult to drive. I don't know what's going on here. Ah! 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 I guess you get used to one game and then all of a sudden you just can't play anything else. The good news is that every dirt road in Bolivia is linked up to another one. Well, and every car is an all-terrain beast. <laughs> Holy crap, we found an actual road. We found the first road in Bolivia. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't feel good about doing a frontal assault. There's oh, shit. This guy's there. Get him, get him, get him. Fuck. All right, we're going to find actual cover now. Get out of the car. Jesus. Well, that guy looks so non-regulation. Look at him. They're all dressed up in their SWAT costumes. Let's get back to business. My guy looks like... I don't know what he looks like. Tomorrow gets killed by a stray round. Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Oh, shit! I'm pr I keep pressing Q to take cover. I play too much goddamn GTA. Press 3 to use your handgun for a stealthy approach. Ah. I think it's too late for that. The, the tutorial should know when you fucked up. Because at, at this stage of the game, so suggesting stealth to me is just insulting. It's sort of like, haha, Scotty, here's what you're supposed to do. They know that's off the table, surely. Oh, the chopper. Please tell me that that's my objective. I'm going to follow the game's advice, though, and use my... Pardon me? My pistol. <laughs> See? Down. What I told you about the headshots, guys, I really do... I deliver the goods. I'm basically... Tango marked. He's a little closer the FedEx to of hand shots, uh, headshots. Right. Marked. Keep an eye on your back. Tango okay, it's not working. Ah! Oh! Well, when you're getting resuscitated, visions of your wife and kids should sort of float above you. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I, I said this was going to be my last mission. I guess it was right. All right, look, where, where's the bad guys? Right, nailed it. Like, like so much watermelon sprayed on the field. Oh, hang on. Wait, there's more of them. Ah! Oh! Fall back. No, no, I, I, I don't have a choice now. Can I send my guys forward? I press F and he just waves his arm, so I'm guessing that's not the button for it. Can we get a better gun? Pistols aren't going to cut it. Alright. Have they got any butane tanks I can shoot at? Usually, every shootout, there's like an explosive you can blow up. Oh, my guys are actually sort of moving forward slowly. Gee, you know, I, I do wish I had friends. This would make so much more sense. You can't play co-op on your own. It just doesn't work. Hey, Kabuto, you're coming with me. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, I'm getting you out of here. You trying to be funny with me? Right, we're getting out of here. They're coming right for us. Wait a minute. What do you know about narco-terrorism, chicken? Passenger? No, 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 no. I, I'm the helicopter pilot. Contact by the barn. Oh, shit. I'm driving. Target eliminated. Everybody in. I'm pilot. <laughs> oh, no, hey. come on. I can't, I'm not rated to drive this thing. I don't know how to put, I don't know the controls. Oh yeah, please. Shift to throttle up, control to throttle down. Release shift while using A or D to perform a quick turn. Ah, oh, this is not gonna go well. Okay, shift to throttle up. Okay, we're, we're going, man. Where are you taking me? We're taking the scenic route. Hang on, wait, uh, oh god. You know, I only just mastered helicopter flight in GTA. I'm really, hang on, A or D. And release shift quick turn. I don't know, I'm spamming it. Does that make a difference? It doesn't matter, I'm going towards the yellow arrow. We don't need to turn. We're, we're going that way. Extract Amaruto. Itakua! Echo, man! 
just put man after everything and you've basically mastered the convincing South American dialect. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh fuck! This is what happened to Vic Mar! Oh! Oh fuck no. Okay, good. Now we're on the downhill stretch, everything's fine. We're actually supposed to be going down now. Oh crap. How big is this game world? Every time I see any open world map like this, I just want to play Red Dead Redemption. But, and then, and then I realize actually, no, I don't. I don't want to have to plug in an Xbox and fart around with shit. Okay, okay, cool. All right. Okay, whoa! Top and tails. Oh god, okay, pressing control now. Shift, control. This is my first helicopter landing. In Wildlands. We're gonna die. Check it out, weapons case. And plonk. Oh shit! <laughs> Check it out, weapons case, yeah. Oh, I'm bailing. Fuck you guys. So, is this like a prisoner or, or somebody we've rescued? God, he looks like crap. He looks like Elijah Wood after a night with Macaulay Culkin. And they dressed him up as Bruce Lee without his permission. So, is this ours now? It's weapons cut. I mean, he pointed it out. I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, wait, wait, wait. A thing happened. Take equipment. I've been wanting one of these. Oh my god. Are you hurt? Oh, look. It's Karen Funbags. Not the most gracious of hosts. They worked me over pretty good, man. These demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love. Let us say a word of thanks to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, man. But their methods were not. Were not. Oh, get over it. Were their names Yuri? Do we have a qualified medic on hand here? Yuri Polito. Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval with when you questioned him. I want them bad. Those are run of the mess. How could you. I, I mean, say you're involved in narco terrorism and you're just trying to do your job. And then all of a sudden people start talking like this, like it's Zero Dark Thirty and everything's getting really serious. How do you not just burst out laughing? Every village and camp until we find something. Every situation in life, you need to insert a bit of levity into it. Documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. I don't want to do all that. That's too open world. I know this game is supposed to like let you do your own thing in Bolivia and just figure out your own way through it, but that's too much freedom. Hey boss! Oh, I, see, I can't do this. Mission I just want. Okay, was that it? That's the first mission? Bowman's file and Yuri and Plato's I'm not even sure I want to play another one. Hey, you guys want to start a motorcycle gang? <laughs> Is that gonna work? Let's roll. That's the rundown on La Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's <laughs> security operation. We're gonna uh, check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. The guy in charge of security is El Murrow with Wall. Half the German so armies are on our tail. You want us to go to Berlin? Speaking. El Murrow's little brother is La Plaga. Oh, you can do burnouts! Fuck you! <laughs> I'm giving my squad a good spray. Fuck! You like that? You like the mud between your teeth? Oh, M video available. Hey man, where's my video? You said video available, man! Major intel, major intel. Oh, crap. No, I have to start doing things? No, no, no. I'm not ready for this. I haven't got the focus. I'll, I'll try it, like, another time. Whoa! Holy crap! Dude, check it out. You're in Bolivia, then you zoom out, and there's more districts and stuff. But then you zoom out further, and you have the classic detective whiteboard, where we, you know, we pin down everyone involved in the cartel, leading up to El Sueño, boss of bosses. I like that. But it should actually look like the classic uh, bulletin board. I mean, if Life is Strange can handle one of them, then I think they could do that for this game as well. I bless the rains down in Africa. Gonna take some time to do the things we never have. I hear the drums echo in the night. She hears only whispers of so. Hang on a minute. I just want to find out what that thing on the radar is. I mean, I I, I can't play anymore. This I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not good enough at these open world games. <laughs> Sweet. I'm gonna leave my squad behind. They appear not to be leaping to the other motorcycles, so. What the hell happened here? GPS says the place is named Yoke Bill. I don't see any sign of fighting. It's just a ghost town. I suppose either. In this game, you have to hunt down your own meals to survive. It gets pretty drastic. 
Did no he man, get it? I've got Pakatori on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Oh, I feel bad now. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua. Bowman says you may be able to help. My people need help. There have been many fires of revolution have almost... Okay, come. sorry. This guy's been talking for about 20 seconds. I just tuned right out. There is a cartel supply coming. Where did go to? Where does the word cartel come from? Can anybody explain that to me? Can you do this? Consider it Out of the way! We're an American business! Taking orders from Pakatari now. Whoa! I dig the sweater! New mission. Oh, really? We're stopping a convoy? Is that what this whole game is going to be? Stopping convoys? Here's the thing. I didn't buy this on Steam, so I can't get a refund. Oh! Fuck! They jumped right into the way of the car! Ooh, not good. Story mission. Defeat. I'm gonna be on the verge of your feet in a minute, woman. It's not really a thing. Oh! Only one thing better than roadkill, and that's Bolivian roadkill. <laughs> Killing civilians can lead to a game over. Oh, what the hell? So I'm only allowed to murder civilians in the prologue. As soon as the actual proper game starts, that's- wait a minute. Every time I see one of these future cars, I want to steal it, but instead we're blowing the hell out of it. Guys, guys, I'll hold your fire. Cease fire to- oh! Jesus. And Polito just tried to run into my wheels, man! I'm basically ripping the soundtrack of any game I play these days because I just like the music more than the games and I'm listening to this Bolivian radio shit and thinking, fuck. I think after I'm done playing tonight, I'm gonna, uh, look up Far Cry- it's not Far Cry, is it? Ghost- <laughs> Ghost Recon Wildlands, uh, Bolivian radio stations and see what they've got for me. But then again, I could just be better off getting things like, uh, that, that Spanish version of, um, Hotel California that you hear in Big Lebowski. No one fucks with the Jesus! I'm gonna fuck you on Saturday- oh. oh. Wait, oh, hang on! Oh! Why can't I shoot them? I have to press F to get my men to do it. And is that my blood? Good. Y'all want peace? Man. We can't all fit in this hypercar. Hang on, I'll drive. Go ahead, I'll catch up. <laughs> I mean, can these guys at least drive with me? Like... I mean, this is poxy. I get uh, my dream car here, at least in Bolivia, I'm not going to find anything better. But my other teammates aren't going to hop in the other car and follow. That is drastic and disappointing. Yep. Hand it over. And you want to know the saddest thing of all? None of this is unusual. Any South American will tell you that this is just a day in the life. This is their, this is their everyday trip to work. Only thing better than having a gun is having four guns. <laughs> when you do something like that, the camera should cut to an angry old Bolivian man who just spent the last 20 years building that brick wall. Ah, hey, what are you doing? Stop it! You are Americanes! Can we take a shortcut? I think it's time for a shortcut. Bolivia! Oh. Holy crap! Oh, shit. Oh, mañana. Uh. <laughs> Stop and tag the Santa Blanca. The fucking thing would be in Peru by now. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's just, let's see if we can cut across open country and just get <laughs> I want to see what will happen if I just hold W. How easy is this game? It's looking pretty promising so far. I can see a clear way ahead. I just gotta go down that valley. They might have been right, everything they said about this game. I wanted to give it a chance, but I mean, this is it's pretty stupid. Come on, it's Heisenberg! Oh shit! <laughs> oh no. I found the great flaw in my plan. There's a creek. Alright, men. <laughs> we can go no further. <laughs> now he's gonna wait for a lift. Here. There's our ride. There's your Uber. South American Uber. Fuck you. Oh wait, no, I need that car. That's cool. It's a it's a it's a driving test. We're gonna see how we handle having a flat. Get in the car, you fuck. I have to wait for him to open the 
Oh my god. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. I copy. Opening fire. Oh shit, actually we are in the middle. I was about to just slaughter all those cows, but um, as it turns out there is uh, actual enemies here. Because God knows the greatest threat to American national security is this timber yard in the Bolivian forests. Alright. Calm, calm your tits down, come on. This country's not going to have anything left by the time we're done. Get back in the car. Jesus, get yeah. Put your seatbelts on for God's sake. The radio DJ is being more of a stereotypical Mexican than I was before. These games always make me feel better about my stereotypical accent because I'm just being, you know. Oh, all right. So we've caught up to the convoy. Oh, hang on. Fire! 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 For some reason, my guy just can't hold a gun and drive at the same time. I don't really know what that's all about. But that's okay, because I've got three squaddies with me. Fuck you. Are we supposed to be capturing the convoy or obliterating it? Yes! Oh, there's not much left of my car. Smoking like Yul Brenner right now. Oh, my men! What are you guys doing? Is it? Do you know something I don't? Oh, shit. Run for the hills. <laughs> got them all. Let's check the truck for any loot we might need. No. Hang on. Get out of the there. fucking car! Jesus. Okay, tutorial. Thank God. Throw me a bone here. Generous amounts of supplies. Ram an enemy vehicle. Is that a salt lake? You know, just once when I'm playing one of these games, I want to find a pepper lake. This would be so much... <laughs> This would be much more difficult a mission if your guy was just a horrible racist. Everyone he talks to is different from him. Wait, where's the convoy? Oh man. Well, well, the convoy, the convoy may have got a bit of a jump on us. Uh, when all that mucking around there, trying to get a second car. That's okay. We'll catch him. Ready? Yeah, boys. Do, do my squaddies ever get hurt? I mean, they. Oh. Shit! <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> I'm dead at the wheel! Ah, crap. <laughs> okay, pull me out of the wreckage! <laughs> I'm just doing so badly in like the first couple of missions, it's kind of funny. Well, for me anyway. This is the kind of thing that other people hate to watch, but I mean, I, I'm enjoying this all. Tank supplies. We got a fucking man down! Find some fucking cover! Stop swearing! It doesn't sound natural. Hang on a minute, I'm coming! Let's get the Midas touch. Do I help him? I took the Hippocratic Oath first, do no harm. Get up, you sped! Ugh, fucking stand with the stim pack! Something tells me that even if it was filled with the most healing, calmative substance on the planet, just jabbing it into a man's chest isn't gonna do him any favors. Can I drive the. Suppressors are for men that don't want to be found. I want the Bolivians to know I'm coming. Because I'm co- Oh, shit. Wait, are we getting nailed? Fuck! Where are the enemy? Watch it, it's gonna blow. What's gonna blow? Could you give me- Could be more specific? Pack, this is Nomad. The convoy is secure. No, it's not. <laughs> the, con the convoy's not secure! Good use of those supplies. No! people are searching for La Lluvia, Polito, but in the meantime, there is something else you can do. <laughs> hey gringo, my people will have great use for those supplies, yeah. I hate to bust your bubble, but that convoy I was telling you about. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Did my squaddy's heads just come through the roof of the car? Oh, uh, and now this car's going off too. Fuck, this, I can't win this game. Uh, is there anything left of the truck? That's all ruined. Right. Find intel about a rebel op. Oh. Sorry about his brother, but I gotta have the car. Out. I'm not gonna rest until every car in Bolivia is fucked. Hey, where's my other squad? Oh, for fuck's sake! Man, they don't follow you closely enough. In most other games... Get in. Are you... Are you, you alright? Get in the fucking car. Bit of a situation update here. This guy, I don't know what his problem is, but he won't get in the car. 
if I drive down the road and he doesn't get in, will I lose the game? <laughs> I'm asking the tough questions. See ya! Enjoy your time on Rancho Luna, you dumb shit. How many people can we run over before we get in trouble? Yeah, capital! This thing handles like a bucket of shit. Alright. You know what I'm... In a lot of these sandbox games, you, you suffer from this syndrome of just one more mission, one more mission, one more mission. But really, the next time I see a, like a, a segment in the gameplay, sort of a, a delineation between one mission and the next, I'm quitting. <laughs> I can't handle this. I'm just not... I'm not the man I thought I was when it comes to ending poverty in Bolivia. Something of a standoff here. I mean, I'm coming! I'm gonna get you, Holmes! Fuck you. Fuck you. I really let him have it. Is my health gonna come back or is this still simulation mode? <laughs> the simulation mode to let me drive a family car clear across two miles of Bolivian jungle. The lieutenant's trying to escape. Everywhere, everywhere we go, there's a new helicopter. Opening fire. That chopper's chock full of supplies the rebels could use. Let's get after this. This isn't our fight. Why are we picking sides? <laughs> Wait for your team now. <laughs> I'm down a teammate and I'm taking on another fucking Bolivian compound. What took you so long? <laughs> oh, I, think, I think I pretty much hit my limit, guys. I can't be bothered playing this anymore. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. I can't. I, Look, I like to branch out and try new things, but just right now I don't I don't have the mental focus for this shit. How do we get out? I mean you don't need to see me quitting. I can I can quit without being on camera. Um Alright, quit today stop. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Ubisoft. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>